you are brand new to training your dog to do anything, then the very first thing you need to do is teach your dog a marker word like yes or good. It's actually a communication tool that you use to tell your dog, yep, that right there was what I was looking for, do that again. So if you're interested in learning how to teach your dog a marker word, make sure to keep watching. What's up guys, it's Jenna with Dog Liaison where I coach you on how to treat your dog's mental health needs. On this channel, we break down scientific research in order to inform and educate us on how to train dogs. If you enjoy a nerdy approach to canine cognition, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today we're talking about marker words. A lot of times people look at the yes or the good in dog training and people think that that's some sort of praise as if we're saying yep or yes to be like good girl, good job, we like that, do that again. And it's actually a little bit more specific than that. It's actually a communication tool that we use to identify the specific behavior that your dog did in order to earn its reward. Now, to be honest, you can use whatever marker word you want to use. Generally speaking, you'll hear yes and good because those roll off the tongue. They're one syllable and they're really easy and they just come off. On this channel, you'll hear me say yes, because that's the marker word of choice that I use. But to be honest, you can use whatever word you want, as long as you don't use it as additionally in praise. When you say yes, or whatever your marker word is, you are promising your dog that a reward is coming. So if you are saying it casually, just in day to day, like, yes, good boy, you're so cute then you are kind of convoluting its definition. We need to make sure that we're only using this marker word to tell your dog specifically that behavior that you just did has earned you a reward. Now you wanna use a tone that you would generally use in life. If you don't typically say yes or good, if that's not how you normally speak, then you don't necessarily wanna use that tone. Here's an example of me using the marker word yes in training. Now, at first your dog might believe that yes means I'm getting a treat. At first your dog might be conditioned to just think that word means where's my food. But the more you integrate it into other parts of his life like offering him a ball or offering him a scratch on his belly or offering him up on, a, on the bed when you want him to, the more you use it practically and just add some other reward in, the more he's gonna understand that that marker word just tells him a reward is coming. It doesn't necessarily mean food is coming to you. To teach your dog your marker word, it's really simple. You just say yes and feed. Yes and feed. And then, to be honest, you're really only doing that a couple of times, you start integrating it with some other behavior. For example, if your dog knows sit, you might ask for a sit, and then you say the word yes at the precise moment that his butt hits the ground, and then reach for the treat. That's really important, that's something I wanna emphasize, that you're saying your marker word, and then grabbing your treat, and then delivering it. You're not saying your marker word and delivering at the same time. You won't say yes, yes. Because in that case, your dog probably isn't hearing the marker at all. He's just thinking, oh my God, there's food coming. And the marker word you're saying is gonna take longer for him to memorize. Awesome, now you're ready to start training your dog. If you are looking for more information on basic skills and how to train your dog just to the fundamentals, then I recommend you check out this playlist that I've made. And if you're interested in having a more nerdy approach to canine cognition, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys soon.